We'll guide you through how to fix your Wi-Fi icon being greyed out on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. I've managed to fix this problem before, so let's go and do this. So if you're finding that in your control center, the Wi-Fi icon is greyed out and in your settings it's greyed out as well, then let me show you how you can do this. First of all, you want to try doing a forced restart on your iPhone. To go and do that, you need to press the increase volume button, then the decrease, and then you hold the power button until you see the Apple logo. Let's do that now. Increase volume, then decrease and hold the power button. That all needs to be done quite consecutively. You'll then see this screen here. Keep on holding the power button though until you see the Apple logo. Your screen will go black at first like this, but continue to hold it until you see the Apple logo like that. Now wait. After your iPhone has restarted, go and see if your problem is fixed. If it still isn't, then what you want to do is go into your settings and you want to make sure you've got the latest update for your phone. So go down to general and then go and click on software update and it's going to go and check. And as you can see, I've got an update available. So what I should do is go and update my phone now because this will go and fix bugs and glitches and things like that. So if you've got one, go and do that. After you've updated your phone, then go and see if the problem is fixed. If it still isn't, then what you want to do is go into your settings again, go and click on general, scroll right to the bottom until you see transfer or reset iPhone, click there and then click on reset. And what you want to try doing is resetting your network settings. So that will include all of the networks you've connected to before. So you will need to go and re-enter passwords. That will delete everything like all of your connections. So you will need to go and reconnect with the password, etc. But yeah, worth trying that. If that still doesn't work, then what you can do is do an entire reset of your iPhone. So you'll need to click on erase all content and settings. And so what you may want to do is do a backup of your iPhone if you haven't already, either to a computer or iCloud. But hopefully one of the methods before this has solved your problem. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.